14 from May, June 2015, um, paper 2, variant 1. We are asked in this question, or this question here is about vectors. Okay, vectors. Now, PQRS is a quadrilateral, and M is the midpoint of P to S. So that's like in the ratio of 1 to 1. PQ is equal to A, which is already marked. QR is equal to B, which is already marked. And S to Q is A minus 2B. And S to Q is A minus 2B. Okay, so if I want to go from S to Q, it's going to be A, A minus 2B. It's like A minus 2B, S to Q. Okay? Um, show that P to S is equal to 2B. Now, P to S... I want to go from P to S. I can go from P to Q. And then I can go from Q to S. All right? Um, I know what P to Q is. It's A. And I know that if S to Q is A minus 2B, Q to S is the opposite of that. It's the negative of that. Okay? So if S to Q is A minus 2B, then Q to S, you're going in the opposite direction, it must be minus A plus 2B, opposite signs. You can say 2B minus A. So you're going to have A, and you're going to have minus A plus 2B. Okay? So that, that gives you 2B. And that's what we had to prove. That's part A done. Okay? Then it says part B, write down the mathematical name for the quadrilateral PQRM. PQRM. Okay, giving reasons for your answer. Now, I know they've told us here, P, Q, R, M. So I want to find out what this is. Now, I know that um, P to Q is, sorry, P to S is 2B. And this is the ratio 1 to 1. So P to M is B. P to M is B. So I know that this side and that side are equal in length. All right. Even though maybe it doesn't look like it because of the diagram, but it's not to scale. So you don't go by how it looks, you go by what you know for sure. Right. So from P to M definitely is B. If P to S is 2B, and this is in the ratio 1 to 1, if that's a midpoint, if 2B is all the way from P to S, P to M must be 1B, which is the same as Q to R. So these definitely are parallel to each other. Now, in order to prove okay, what they are, this is worth two, two marks, okay? we got to really find out what M to R is, okay, to see how does that relate to P to Q, all right? M to R, okay, what is the vector from M to R? Well, we can find it quite easily. If I want to go from M to R, I can go different ways, but the, the most obvious way I can see here, very easy way, is go from M to P, and then from P to Q, and then from Q to R. Okay, now M to P is minus B, and P to Q is plus A, and Q to R is plus B. All right, so you have minus B plus B, which is A. So M to R is A. Okay, M to R is A. So it doesn't look like it's A. That, that means these two lines are parallel. They don't look parallel at all. They don't look parallel at all because um, this is not to scale. So again, you don't go by how it looks. If you would go by how it looks, you'd say, oh, this is a trapezium. Okay, but we don't go by how it looks, we go by what we know. This is definitely A, this is A, this is B, this is B. Now, for those who say, oh, I think it's a, a rhombus, okay, well, you don't know that vector A and B are the same length. There's nothing to say that the magnitude of vector A and the magnitude of vector B are the same. So, it's a parallelogram, right? These lines are parallel and equal in length. So PQ and MR are parallel, even though they don't look it, they're parallel and they're equal in length. And QR and PM are parallel and equal in length. But there's nothing to say that A and B are the same length. So we can't say it's a rhombus. The best we can say it is a parallelogram. Okay? So we're going to say parallelogram. Most people don't know how to spell it, including me. Parallelogram. I think that's right. Because... The opposite sides, you can say the opposite sides, opposite sides are parallel, whoops, I spelled it wrong here, parallel and equal in length. 
Okay? Okay? Two pairs of parallel sides which are opposite, uh, we equal in that. So that's the answer to that question.